there's there's a lot of uh, um, recognition of how faith, the role that faith can play um, in the work of peace activists and certain peace movements in calls for social justice around the world. And so why, why, why is it so unusual that when it comes to gender justice, when it comes to women's rights advocacy, that faith isn't going to play an important role? Traditionally, uh, secular feminism, especially as it's understood within the West, is, has been very resistant to religion, um, especially when it comes to advocating for women's rights. Um, there really hasn't been a place for religion in that. Uh, more recently, there's been this attention on religious feminism and Islamic feminism in particular. Many Muslim women, uh, their religion is an important part of their identity, their personal identity, and an important part of their advocacy work. There's actually um, great potential for uh, religious and secular frameworks of women's rights to be compatible and complementary with each other, as long as that partnership recognizes women as agents of their own religiosity. That, that women are agents in how they how they identify with their religion, that their lived experiences with their religion is important, is legitimate, that their interpretations of their own religion is important and legitimate. It may be different from uh, traditional religious authority, it may be the same, um, but those we need to pay attention to those experiences and their perspectives um, that have often been silenced. From a secular feminist perspective, if we are not taking that into account, if we are not willing to engage uh, women's own understanding of religion, their own agency and their religiosity, then we're silencing women. Uh, we're silencing women on a very important part of their identity. We got to look beyond the religious institution, which is largely patriarchal, and those official um, leaders uh, within religion, which again are, are oftentimes male across all religions, and really see uh, people's own lived experiences and perspectives on religion in their own lives and, and what, what that identity means for them. That's something that both secular feminists and religious feminists agree on, is that it, the importance of recognizing and honoring uh, women's own perspectives and beliefs and experiences.